in the world of sales, what are some red flags for you that you should pay attention to so that you can become a better closer? I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento, California. I'm perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. Now, if you're in sales long enough, you've developed some senses about what's going on and how things are going and when things just don't go right. So video number three is the mismatch. And there's going to be a point where someone's talking to you and the introduction sounds fantastic and feels fantastic. And then like all of a sudden, right here in your gut, you're going to be like, uh-uh, something's wrong. Something's wrong. And when you start feeling like that, this is when you need to get a manager involved, another salesperson involved. And like, you know, there's going to be times where you're wrong, but where the times where you're right, it's going to save you. Like, hey, look, you know, this buyer came to me and they're saying these things. And sometimes this isn't going to be instantly. You meet the person and little things are off. That happens. They're nervous. They're like meeting with a salesperson. I'm talking like throughout the call. You're 40 minutes into it. You're 45 minutes into it. You might be an hour into it, but like things just don't match up. The words and the purchase, like you've sold enough. You're like, mm, oh. you know, I met one time with a guy and I got to the house. I was doing it in home sales and there's very specific things and tools in the heating and air world that can be used in other industries, but they aren't. Okay. So I go to this guy's house. He lived in like a 2,100 square foot home here in Sacramento in the area. And I go to open the closet where the furnace is and there's cutting torches. So the, the brazing torches, and then there's also vacuum pumps. Now, all right, I could see that. There might be an industry that you might use those in. Then uh, I go and I look at the air conditioner and I could tell by the rating, the miles per gallon, about how energy efficient it was. Then I go inside and we start doing discovery mode and I look over in the corner and then on the stairs, there's buyer's manuals for like, if I was in the industry, for equipment. There's two major manufacturers that are sitting there on the stairs. And then in the guy's pocket, he had a, a calculator of figuring out duct flow, right? So like in my mind, like this is huge warning signs that things just are not right. So I asked him a question. I'd say, hey, tell me about what your energy bills are for your home. Tell me where you leave your thermostat. And they said, well, we leave our thermostat at 76 and our bills are about 80 bucks a month. Now, if you're in the trades long enough, you know that that's BS. There's no way that's going to happen. That bill should be around 220, 230 bucks at that time of the year for the cost of energy. And I called them out. I said, hey, time out. Things just don't match up. You're asking all the wrong questions. You've got stuff here from manufacturers. Like you are a company. What company do you work for? Who do you work for? And the guys, they try to blow me off. I go, hey, look, man, I'm not stupid. I might have been born at night, but I wasn't born last night. I've been in the game for a long time. Who do you work for? You just wasted my lead. Like I, I could have sold somebody who really wanted something. The guy smiled and he goes, well, I'm going to call your office and complain. I said, dude, let's do it right now. I got speaker phones. I got a limited minutes. Let's make this phone call. I don't have a problem. Turned out he was a competitor, right? There's things that your competitors do to try to find out what you're doing for your presentation that like, it's not going to feel right. That's just one example. There's a million other examples, but you're going to know because you've been in enough deals to know something doesn't sound right. Words are mismatched. There's a problem here. So if there is, Go make a phone call, go grab a manager, just say, hey, look, I'm going to run something past you. What would you do? And somebody may say, well, ask this question. They ask the question, you're like, I knew it. I knew it. Red flag. So there you go. You got one thing to do from here, just one thing. Find the subscribe button and click on it every time I send out a video. You'll get an update. It says Scott Bell Consultant sent out a fantastic video. You should check it out, which you should. We'll see you soon. Aloha.